Hello, this week let's have a look at the uh, possibly the best 172 scale Bristol fighter kit and uh, this one's from Roden or Roden, whatever you pronounce it in their language and uh, there are in fact seven examples to be built out of this with options wise for the one in the front which is duplicated on the back showing the colour call outs which are in Humbrol colours but because they got the, 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 the German fruit you probably get the similar descriptions in uh, Revel or something like that uh, yes yeah, so there's, there's the colour call out and nice classic box I've had one of these before but I one of the ones I've sold in the past the um, other options you've got your uh, black and white you've got another seven options altogether which you may have already said the chicken squadron you see that well, the chicken on the side or is it a goose so it could be anything couldn't it could be a giant dove <laughs> i don't know and there we are different theaters it's been in um bristol up no not that, not that theater different places of flying the uh during his career <coughs> And the decals, which I always like to show you, are good condition. They're uh, nicely printed and in register. There's that chickeny thing again, look. And focus. And there's the multiple op options you've got for the tail number and the various units it was part of. Right, so that back in the nice clear film protection thing. Now with this kit, what it's famous for, I think, is the uh, engine, because it can give you an option to mould, not mould, model the, uh, if I go to the page, the engine open, it's exposed, and it's uh, 172, but it's quite detailed, look at all the different parts you put together with that, so you end up with quite a detailed engine, which can have the, uh, Cowling taken off and exposed, you've got an extra part to put on the front there. And there, look, see? Well, and uh, you could have it all. This little gun magazines there, look. Little rot rot rotary magazines. The rest of it's quite straightforward. Little seat. Little rudder bar. Then you give an info view there to show you just what it should look like when it's all put together. But uh, I'll show you the engine itself now in a moment. The rest of it is quite straightforward for an aircraft of this size, this scale. Uh, place of the seats and the instrument panel. There's even in indications of uh, painting and whatever for the instrument panel. And it shows where to put all the uh, quite clear where all the parts go. That's going to be pretty fiddly because that the fuselage is slightly separate from the lower wing, but uh, it'll be good detail. Once it's all put together, and yeah, you even got an option for the uh, different propellers, the four or two blade propellers, a nice little gun, gun ring there as well, and these little parts for where the control cables go. Quickly then, before the battery runs out, as I often say, the kit itself is uh, four screws in a single bag. Not bad condition, but it's a little bit of flash around the edge. But that can, it's quite a well used kit, it's been made for a long time. But uh, that flash can easily be folded off and cut off, it doesn't affect the quality of the kit itself. It's just all the years it's been made. But the the uh, engine parts look there, got two parts halves of the uh, engine put together. You've got raised detail on the instrument panel and you've got a nice little louvered front for the uh, front of the engine itself which you put on there I suppose yeah and that's the rear that's the, the what do you call it fire guard thing fire wall when you put the engine exposed you can model it with the engine hidden of course 
but they advise you to cut it off. There's a little mark there to show, a little line there to show where to cut to expose the engine. A little bit of internal detail as well, look. Looks good. Nice finely moulded struts and exhausts and everything else. All as you'd expect it. There's even a little bit of stitching you can probably figure out on there as well. Yeah, that's a bit of, sti a bit of stitching by there, look. Where the fabric is attached. And some more parts of the engine are the, the wheels and the undercarriage parts and there's the engine parts look. All there. So yeah, it's a good little kit and uh, I'm gonna take my time on it when I get it. When when I start building it, and it'll be a contrast to the older AFX kit I've got, which I've showed you in another video. But there we are for now. The Roden 172 scale Bristol Effector. Thank you for watching. Cheerio.